Here are 20 duologues for two female performers who are young adults. The themes, issues and content all feel appropriate for actors in the 17 to 25 years old age range. The characters are rich and complex, the scenes are more challenging and they'll work perfectly for more mature performers. Right, here we go. Beth and Mag from The Monstrous Heart by Oliver Emmanuel. Start on page one at Beth's line, why would anyone want to get closer to nature and end on page eight on Mag's line, I won't ask again. Mag and Beth are mother and daughter. They are estranged and Beth has just arrived at Mag's remote cabin in Canada in this very tense scene. Beth is originally Scottish, but a couple of words that are dialect specific could be easily changed here. This play is really special and incredibly powerful. Rachel and Pauline from Daughterhood by Charlie Miles. Start on page six with Rachel's line, Paul, and end on page 12 on Rachel's line, delighted to be back. Rachel and Pauline are sisters, and in this first scene of the play, Rachel returns home. Pauline, who is the older sister, has been looking after their ill father and is not too pleased to see her. Sharon and Helen from There Are No Beginnings by Charlie Miles. Start on page 47 on Sharon's line, they said not to worry though, and end on page 54 at Helen's line, negotiate better terms probably. This play is set in Yorkshire in the late 1970s during the Yorkshire Ripper murders. Sharon and Helen are two young women checking in with one another. The language is very much written in the Yorkshire dialect, so two northern female performers would be perfect for this. Janine and Cinder from Dirty Krusty by Claire Barron. Start on page 54 with Cinder's line high and end at Cinder's line on page 63, it's dawn, just before Victor appears. Cinder has been teaching Janine how to dance. This is a fully physical choreographed scene. The two are rehearsing a ballet and issues from Janine's life emerge. This is a challenging text that addresses issues such as sexual violence and suicide. It's originally American, but it could work in any accent. This scene would be perfect for ballet dancers or actors who could choreograph the whole scene. Cassidy and River from Appropriate by Brendan Jacobs Jenkins. This is the start of act two. On page 56, start at Cassidy's line, you, and end at the bottom of page 60 at River's line. What's it saying? Before Tony enters. Cassidy is in her early teens and River is in her early twenties. They're in a living room in the middle of the night and they're newly acquainted with one another through their family. Here, they discuss a controversial artifact that's been found in the family home. Originally set in Arkansas, this text is flexible for any accent. Her and Sister from Poisoned Polluted by Catherine O'Reilly. Start on page 37 at Her's line, Where Are the Bananas? and end on page 40 at Sister's line, I don't know what I'd do without you. Her is 23 and Sister is 28 and they're two sisters staying together. In this short scene, their sibling relationship is put to the test. Danny and Jan from The Sugar Syndrome by Lucy Preble. This is act one, scene five. Start on page 20 on Jan's line, where have you been, may I ask? And end on page 24 with Danny's line, that's very considerate of you. Jan is Danny's mum who is 17. Jan is challenging Danny on her school attendance and Danny is challenging Jan on her Pilates outfit. Vera and Dee from Touch by Vicky Jones. This is scene nine, which is called Vera Four. Start on page 49 with Vera's line, I can't believe your toilet is still blocked and end on page 54 with Dee's line. Yeah, okay, I get that. Vera and Dee are in Dee's flat. They're young women exploring the extent of their friendship and sex lives. Here, they have a huge argument over a photograph. Sally and Tash from A Super Happy Story About Feeling Super Sad by John Britton. This scene is in chapter three. Start on page 26 with Tash's line, you all right, and end on page 29 on Tash's line, we've got some great biscuits. 
Sally and Tash are suffering from mental health issues, and here they have a chat together outside their support group meeting. Tony and Madeline, from Turkey, by Frankie Meredith. This is scene 10. Start on page 53 at Tony's line, thank you for the sandwiches, and stop at the end of the scene on page 57 at Madeline's line, it's not as easy as... Madeline and Tony are partners and they want a sperm donor. This scene is in Tony's classroom at the school where she works and their relationship is on a knife edge. Elaine and Amy from Nut by Debbie Tucker Green. This is act one, scene one. Start at Elaine's line, it would start with something about how I am and go to the end of the scene on page 15 at Amy's line, done and dusted, nice. Elaine is black and Amy is white. They're close friends and here they discuss and debate what their funerals will be like. It's a fun, chatty, bantery scene. Zara and Fatima from Out of Sorts by Danusia Samal. This is in scene eight. Start on page 42 at Fatima's line, it's not our space, and end on page 46 at Fatima's line, ask me again why I ain't going uni. Zara is in her mid-twenties and Fatima is her younger sister and she's 17. The family are from an unspecified Arabic-speaking country and they live in the UK. In this scene, the two sisters argue about their culture, their family and their future. Harper and Sarah from Harper Regan by Simon Stevens. This is scene four. In Simon Stevens place three, start on page 232 at Harper's line, this just fell on me, and end on page 240 at Sarah's line, this means you are, doesn't it? This is a really thoughtful, rich and subtext filled scene between mother Harper and her teenage daughter, Sarah. They're at a recreational ground trying to connect with one another. This scene might need a few trims to the text if you want it to be five or three minutes. Girl Who Sparkles and Girl With No Shoes from Rage by Simon Stevens. Start on page 52 at Girl Who Sparkles line, I didn't mean it, and end on page 55 at Girl With No Shoes line, I thought you'd do that too. This is a very simple scene with two drunk young women on a night out. They tend to a man who's injured on the floor. Cat and Catherine from Parliament Square by James Fritz. Start on page 90 at Cat's line, Catherine, and end on page 94 at Cat's line, yes. This is the final scene of this extraordinary play. The play began with Cat making a violent protest at Parliament Square, and here Catherine is about to do the same thing. As a climactic scene, the tension, stakes and emotions are all elevated. Dana and Jasmine from How to Hold Your Breath by Zinni Harris. This is scene three. Start at Dana's line, I effed a demon, on page 26, and end on page 35 on Jasmine's line, you know that, you always do. Dana and Jasmine are sisters, and here they discuss Dana's night spent with a demon. It's a scene full of fun and sisterly affection. Emma and Manager, from Contractions by Mike Bartlett. This is scene two. Start on page 9 at manager's line, Emma, come in, and end on page 14 at manager's line, thank you. This play is an outstanding two-hander which explores office politics. In this scene, manager begins to probe Emma on her personal life. Sophie and Jane from Eden by Hannah Patterson. This is scene 2. Start on page 13 on Jane's line, what are you doing here? and end on page 21 at Jane's line, thwack, thwack. Sophie and Jane are young women who were previously in a relationship together. Sophie has returned to her hometown and here they speak in Jane's home for the first time in years. Caitlin and Sophie from Harry by Caitlin McEwen. This is scene two. Start on page 13 with Caitlin's line, I just realized we haven't introduced ourselves and end on page 17 at Caitlin's line, full on. This is a really fun scene full of direct address. Sophie and Caitlin are at uni together, and in this scene they're bragging about how much they like each other and what their uni routine entails. A and B from 66 Transference 
in Blank by Alice Birch. Start on page 291 with A's line, Can I make you a cup of tea? And end on page 300 at A's line, Thank you. I've saved the best till last here. This is an extraordinary play, and I'm referencing page numbers in this version, which is the 2019 Donmar Warehouse edition, not the 2018 Connections edition. In this scene, a young police officer brings bad news to a mother. It's comedic and hard hitting, and A has a sizable monologue in the middle of the scene, which could be trimmed or kept in its entirety. Some of the playtexts are available on Drama Online. You can order the plays directly from the publishers also. Bloomsbury, which now incorporates Oberon Books and Methuen in Drama. Nick Hearn Books. Or you can order them from Amazon. And there we go. 20 duologues for two female performers who are young adults. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Do check out these other videos and subscribe. And if you want to support what I do and the channel, you can click on the link in the video description. All the best.